Welcome to the Bruce Williams channel. Let's start off this video by uh, looking at a hilarious comment that I saw recently on one of my Rolex Pepsi videos. Now, this one comes from Kenneth who says, quote, I sincerely hope that all of you jerks who somehow got lucky and got this watch, get it stolen, break it, or lose it. Some of us will never get the call for it. And here you are rubbing it in our faces. Really hope something bad happens to your watches, end quote. <laughs> I looked at this the other day and I laughed. I couldn't tell if Kenneth was just salty and serious here or if this is just a troll comment. Uh, I don't know. I think it's funny, though. Uh, that's, Kenneth is looking for one of the most sought after watches in the world, which uh, funnily enough is the title of the video. And uh, they are not getting the call, so they are salty and they want anybody else who does have the watch, you know, something ill to happen to that individual. They can't have it, so no one else can have it. They want you to down a quart of pickle juice because they don't have the watch that they want. Uh, if this is serious, again, I don't know if it's serious. Uh, it is an example of how not to act in this hobby when things are not going your way. Now, that being said, let's switch gears and read a very short email from a viewer in a similar situation that I would recommend acting like this individual. This one comes from Fernando who says, Hi, Bruce. Merry Christmas. I enjoy all your reviews and videos. I'm tired on waiting for Rolex and wanted to pick up a Breitling in the meantime. I like the Chronomat 42 salmon dial, but I would rather pay Avenger pricing would the chronomat be worth it or should I go with the Avenger 42 blue dial? By the way, I'm on the wait list for Rolex going on two years and he says he is waiting on Mayers. I've never worked with that authorized dealer before and I understand it's a fairly large authorized dealer that does carry other brands. Now, Fernando has a very nice email here. He is obviously going about this in a good way. He's not getting the call. It's been almost two years so he's looking at other brands, and I recommend doing this. If you're not being taken seriously by the Rolex authorized dealer that you want to work with, then go enjoy other brands. You might have a far better time with those other brands than you would have with Rolex. So I will say, from my personal experience, I like Rolex a lot, but I also like other brands a lot. And funnily enough, Breitling is my favorite brand at the moment, and I have had more fun with the various Breitling models that I have owned and reviewed than the Rolex models that I have owned and reviewed. So let's talk about these two Breitling models specifically. The first one, the Chronomat 42 Salmon Dial. This is the BO142. It has a lovely copper salmon dial, a sunray dial that works very well with the black sunken sub registers and this dynamic rouleau bracelet, the steel bezel, the polished bezel. I think this one is phenomenal with the styling. In fact, I'm partial to this unique color scheme. I recently picked up a Breitling Detour of 42 with a copper salmon dial. It does not have the exact same shade and it doesn't have uh, you know the sunray finish, but it is one of the most marvelous watches that I have ever purchased. And I'm, I'm enjoying it so much. Now, I will say the Chronomat version with this more sunray uh, finish on the dial. This one, I think, Fernando, if you bought it and you put it on wrist, every time you look at your wrist to gauge the time, you would smile and you would notice all of the elements here. It is such an impactful, powerful watch, but it is very expensive at $8,500 full retail I believe you could probably negotiate a nice little discount, but you're still spending quite a chunk of change for a great watch. Now you compare this to the Avenger 42 and that one on the Pro 3 bracelet comes in at a retail price of $4,200. So about half the retail price. Is it half the watch? No, it's, it's a very different watch. I like the distinctive rider tabs and the full indexing found here on the stainless steel brushed bezel. I really love the fact that it has the Wings logo that looks really good here on this. I like the fact that it's thin and trim for such a substantive watch. That's always a refreshing thing. So I think you would really enjoy the Avenger Automatic 43 as well, and you would be technically not spending uh, quite so much 
to attain something that could give you a large amount of satisfaction as an owner. But here's the thing. What would you enjoy the most? I always try to approach the watch collecting dilemma with that type of mindset. So if you feel you would enjoy the copper chronomat B0142 more with the Rulo bracelet, well, you know, spend that money, get that great watch and enjoy the heck out of it. If you think you would enjoy the Avenger more, by all means, go that route. If you think you would enjoy Omega or Zenith or Grand Seiko or just keep waiting for Rolex, well, then go that route as well. I think if you're looking out for yourself, you're going to make some mistakes, yes, but you're going to have a better time in this hobby. And I would tune out the outside noise. You know, Bruce Williams or other people in the comment section of this video, we have no vested interest in your collection, Fernando. So uh, go with what you think you would enjoy the most. Now, I will leave you with one point here, and I'm almost hesitant to do it, but I feel you should hear this information. And that is Mayers, the authorized dealer. I believe they also carry uh, multiple other brands depending on your location in the world. So if they do carry Breitling, perhaps you could work with your sales associate and buy either the Chronomat or the Avenger from that sales associate that also carries the Rolex AD and remind them of which Rolex you would love to purchase. I think in building a purchase history with an authorized dealer, it can only help you. You know, it shows that authorized dealer that you're serious about buying watches. You're not just trophy hunting. You're looking at other brands as well. And that sits well with a lot of authorized dealers. But be warned, <laughs> it's no guarantee of getting an earlier call. They could sell you a Breitling and never sell you a Rolex. I don't know. It really, uh, it really is out of my control. So uh, I would say keep that in mind. It could be advantageous for you if you want to uh, continue to wait for that Rolex, but at the same time, there really are no guarantees. It's just something to consider. Now, that being said, I hope you enjoyed my video response. I hope you got something from it. Fernando, thank you for being a great example of how to act in this hobby. Things aren't going your way, so you're not going to get salty about it. You're going to go out and enjoy another brand and do a little information gathering before you make that uh, purchase, before you pull the trigger on the next watch. So uh, thank you for emailing. Guys, if you have a question you would like me to address in a future topic video, let me know what those questions are. You can put them in the comment section. You can send me a private email. You can be very salty in the comment section. Maybe I will laugh and pull up your comment in a future video. I don't know. Uh, but thank you for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.